everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made the 7% glycolic acid foaming face wash. And this is formulated for oily acne prone skin. I'm going to be taking you guys through the whole process of how I actually came up with the formula for this product. So if you guys want to fast forward to any parts that specifically interest you, you can go ahead down in the timestamps below. But anyways, let's just get into the video so you guys can figure out how I came up with the formula for this product and how I actually formulated it. So if you didn't see a few videos ago, I made a glycolic acid toner and I want to make a face wash to pair with the glycolic acid toner. So that's the mission behind this product today. And since this product is like supposed to pair with the glycolic acid toner, I'm going to use a lot of the ingredients I used in that toner in this face wash. So obviously I know we want glycolic acid, we're going to use aloe vera, we're going to use some chamomile because that's really soothing, so that will help soothe any like inflammation that's happening from the acne. I want to use the henna extract because it's one of the few ingredients I have for oily acne prone skin. And I also want to use some lemon hydrosol because it'll give some fragrance to the face wash. And also lemon hydrosol is really good for oily acne prone skin. And um, these are all the kinds of things that I brainstorm before actually writing the formula. And also I'm going to refer to my glycolic acid toner formulation a lot when I'm writing this formula so I know like because I'm pairing them to be products used together. All right, and then you wanna sort of figure out what kind of face wash is it going to be? Is it gonna be like gel, cream, foaming? I want to make a foaming face wash. So that's when the product is just a liquid and then the pump makes it into like a big fluffy foam. So that's what I wanna do because I think foaming face washes are really good for oily acne prone skin. So that's the goal with the face wash. So we don't really need any thickeners or anything. And then you also want to think around this time like what surfactants you want to use and since this is a face wash for oily acne prone skin I want to use an anionic surfactant as my main surfactant so if you want to know more about uh, surfactants go watch my video all about surfactants I'll link it down below so you guys can learn more about that and I'm going to be using cocoa and bentane as my co-surfactant to go with the AOS 40 since it is an anionic surfactant all right so let's write the formula so I'm going to be looking at my uh, notes that I have jotted down of all the things I want to add into this face wash. And then I'm also going to be taking a look at the glycolic acid toner formula to make sure, you know, everything is pairing well together. So this is going to be a 7% glycolic acid foaming face wash. And this will be broken up into two phases. We'll have phase A, which is essentially just everything almost in the formula. And then we'll have phase B, which will be uh, the phase with the glycolic acid and the buffer solution. So since I'm using a 70% dilution of glycolic acid, I purchased my glycolic acid from makingcosmetics.com and it's a 70% dilution. So I need to use 10.15% of the glycolic acid in order to get a 7% concentration. And I know from my glycolic acid toner video that I'm going to need 25% of my pH buffer solution because I use the same percentage of the glycolic acid. So I should need right around the same percentage of my pH buffer solution because glycolic acid and lactic acid both have very low pHs of like one to two. So that would be really damaging on your skin if you just use it straight like that. So you need to raise the pH to about like four to 4.5 in order for it to be safe for your skin. And um, if you make like the pH too high, then the glycolic acid won't actually, you know, do its thing for your, on your skin. And if you go to replicate this formula, make sure you do like a test recipe first to see if you also need 25% because it could end up being different depending on like the ingredients you add to it or if you use a different glycolic acid from a different supplier, it might end up being different. And if you guys wanna know how to make the pH buffer solution, I showed you guys how to do that in the glycolic acid toner video. So go watch that if you guys wanna learn how to make the pH buffer solution. So that's all for phase B. So for phase A, I know for sure I'm gonna be using 0.5% liquid dermal plus. And then I also want to use 0.05% aloe vera powder and then I mentioned I want to use lemon hydrosol for like the fragrance and also lemon hydrosol is good for oily acne prone skin so I'm going to use that at 10% and then I'm going to use 2% henna extract 2% chamomile extract 
Helps soothe the skin. Oh, and then we want 3% glycerin. And then as for the surfactants, I want to, you really only need a little bit of surfactants for foaming face washes, but since this is for oily acne prone skin, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do 10% AOS 40 and then 5% cocoa betaine. I think that looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and add up all of these percentages. All right, which is 67.7. So then you want to subtract 67.7 from 100, which equals a 32.3. And I'm gonna put that at the beginning. And I'm actually gonna put the aloe vera powder right after it. So I remembered to dissolve the aloe vera powder in the distilled water before I add the AOS 40 and cocoa betaine, just to make sure you know, it dissolves well. And I just want to show you guys quickly how you transfer this to a weighed out recipe. So this is a 10 ounce uh, bottle, which is like 290-ish grams, 285 grams, something like that, I don't remember. But I'm only gonna do a 250 gram batch. So we need to know our batch size. And I'm gonna show you guys the super, super simple way of doing this because a lot of you guys have trouble understanding how to do this. So I'm going to show you the simplest way because you can literally like just do the math on a calculator to figure this out, but I'm gonna show you guys the easy way. All right. So we know we need 32.3% distilled water, right? And we know we're making a 250 gram batch. So what you're gonna do is go on to Google and literally search what is 32.3% of 250. And now you know you need 80.75 grams of your distilled water. All right, and again, we know we need 0.05% of aloe vera powder. So that's 0.125 and you can round that to 0.13 if you want. And you just continue doing this with the rest of the formula and then you know exactly how much you need of each ingredient. So let's go ahead and formulate this product and that's about it. So for phase A, we have 80.75 grams of distilled water and I just went ahead and put it in the foaming pump bottle because we can actually just add everything right into this container here. And it also includes 1.25 grams of liquid dermal plus, which is the preservative. And then we've got 0.13 grams of aloe vera 200 times powder, 25 grams of lemon hydrosol, five grams of henna extract, and five grams of chamomile extract, 7.5 grams of glycerin, 25 grams of AOS 40, and then 12.5 grams of cocoa betaine. So I'm gonna start by adding in the aloe vera powder and with the water and the liquid dermal plus. And then you can just go ahead and give it a little bit of a mix to help the powder dissolve. Then I'm gonna add in the lemon hydrosol next, chamomile extract, the henna extract, and then the glycerin. And I like to make sure that the aloe vera has fully dissolved before adding in the two surfactants. All right, so let's go ahead and add these in. Give everything a mix. And now we'll go ahead and set this to the side while we work on phase B. And in phase B, we have 62.5 grams of the pH buffer solution. And this pH buffer solution will specifically raise the pH because glycolic acid has an extremely low pH so we need to raise the pH of it in order for it to be safe for our skin. So if you guys want to learn how to make this pH buffer solution I showed you guys how to make it in my glycolic acid toner video so I'll link that down below so you guys can go watch it and figure out how to make this pH buffer solution. And then I have 25.37 grams of glycolic acid in this beaker here and I'm going to go ahead and combine these. And this way, the pH of the glycolic acid will balance before we add it in with everything else. And give it a little bit of a mix. And you'll notice it'll start to heat up a little bit. So you wanna wait for it to cool down at least like 100 degrees or lower before adding it in with everything else. All right, now that phase B has cooled to under 100 degrees, we can go ahead and add it in with phase A. Give everything a mix, add on the pump cap. There you go. Now you have a glycolic acid face wash for oily acne prone skin. Ooh, I really like the lather of this wash. It's like really super creamy, which I don't find that too often in foaming face washes. So yeah, if you're struggling from acne, definitely try this out. And I think it'll do wonders for your face. Just make sure you're wearing sunscreen when you are 
actively using alpha hydroxy acids and up to a week after using alpha hydroxy acids because your skin is obviously shedding because they help exfoliate the skin. So your skin will be more prone to um, getting sunburn. So make sure you're wearing sunscreen when using alpha hydroxy acids. But you know, we should be wearing sunscreen every single day anyways. So it'll be a good way to start that habit if you haven't um, gotten into the habit of wearing sunscreen every day. So let's go ahead and test the pH of this so you guys can see what the pH is. So I'm gonna take this 25 milliliter glass beaker and then I have this 50 milliliter glass beaker with distilled water in it, which is gonna be used to rinse off my pH meter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add about 10 grams of the face wash in the 25 milliliter beaker, just enough to cover the electrode of the pH meter. And then go ahead and dip that in and let it sit for about a minute and just wait for the pH to adjust because the numbers will move around a lot until they sort of go stable. And the pH is right at 4.21, which is perfect. You wanna shoot somewhere between 4.0 to 4.5. So there you go. This is a 7% glycolic acid face wash. Let me know if you guys are gonna be trying it out and let me know if you have any suggestions for other products for oily acne prone skin. And I'll do what I can to come up with a recipe and share it with you guys because I definitely know I need more products here on my channel for that skin type. And let me know, you know, whatever else you guys would suggest or wanna see here on my channel. So I'll talk to you guys next time, later. Stardust Bath & Body, Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, KAJ Bath & Body, Bloomin' Soaps, Salt Air Label, Lanise Beauty, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, Danny Botanicals, Hempy Girl, Brie Maquillage, Alchemy & Clay, Bible Belt Boutique, London Latris, Naturally Flawless, Beauty by Riza, Fijab Spa, Facial Daily Rituals, your Spiritual Midwife 333, and Paige Marie Hair Care. I also sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. I'll link my Etsy shop down below along with all my lovely patrons. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from. I'm shattered in this life. It's still the path that I've chosen. Because I've had a vision, now I'm on a mission to find myself with